so everybody loves good Christmas hymns. Um, it's just that when you skip Advent to sing them, you end up losing a lot of the comfort that that's there. Uh, plus, all the Advent hymns are amazing. Um, my favorite hymns are Advent hymns. I want to talk to you about O Savior, Rend the Heavens Wide, uh, because this is a hectic time of year, even if you don't want to focus on Advent, even though it's Advent and you should focus on Advent, um, because, well, look around. There, there isn't just sin and decay. There is stress and foreboding. Um, we need to confront it. Sin's dreadful doom upon us lies, grim death looms fierce before our eyes. O come, lead us with mighty hand from exile to our promised land. We sing about a God who needs to rend the heavens wide, rip them open, come down here and save us because things aren't the way they're supposed to be. And Christmas has to be more than just pretending that things will be magically better for at least a day on the 25th. Advent confronts them the way they are and begs for God to actually show up and fix them. And so they are a gift. We get to sing, O font of hope, how long, how long? When will you come with comfort strong? O come, O come, your throne forgo. Console us in our veil of woe. We get to actually acknowledge that there is something that needs to be addressed and it feels like it's taking too long. Advent is one of those seasons where we get to deal with the realities that hope feels far away sometimes. And we get to, uh, we get to find it in a Jesus who feels like the last day is too far away and the first day when he became man on Christmas way too long ago and so we get to say where are you why are you not helping us and there's a great permission in confronting the thing that you're saying that sounds a little bit too impious to 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 say it out loud so everybody sings it together and that makes it okay because it's a hymn now how long how long will you forget us forever it's not just a psalm the precious words of God, but it is now a, a hymn where we get to find it in a God who, who, well, in the very next stanza, O morning star, O radiant sun, when will our hearts behold your dawn? O sun arise, without your light, we grope in gloom and dark of night. We get to recognize what it looks like down here without Jesus, but then we actually get to start to recognize the places where he works. He um, does rise from the grave. He is risen now. You can find him in the word, in the sacraments that stand as a light shining in a dark place. The font of hope is planted right in your sanctuary. It is where you were baptized, already united to the victory over the grave, already given something that cannot be taken from you. You have already been crucified with Christ and you will already be raised with him. Advent hymns are amazing because we actually need a God who shows up to fix what's wrong. We cannot just remember a time a God showed up but not for us. Advent is a beautiful for you because, well, Christ is present to save you.